Okay, this is where I was last week. Hey, man. What's up? We got snow on the mountains last night, but it is a beautiful day here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Gonna get a little breakfast here, and uh, but then we're going somewhere. <laughs> Hell if I know where we're going, but we're going. Yeah, I was talking about the 70 being closed and how people are trying to get to getting on their phones and finding these different routes. But a lot of these routes are closed because of the winter. Oh, yeah. And they're getting stranded. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's bad news. You get out of your driveway when it snows. Oh, man, if it snows, <laughs> <laughs> you better have something other than change. You mm -hmm. that big old six-inch cleats to get up out of there. Bunch of people are parked on the road when that happens. I tell you what, though, if you lived up here, you'd have great scenery. This must be Red Rock Canyon. It must be. Lots of red rocks. Look at all this. Yeah, you're right about condos being above all the shops. This is going to be pretty pricey. Inn and Suites at Riverwalk, so I guess that was the hotel. That's a hotel? Yeah, it says Inn. We had rooms above the, the shops here. Actually, no, I bet it was this hotel, in at Riverwalk. But actually, that's probably the same thing. I think that's the one I called in. It was two seventy nine dollars a night. Snow's just loaded up on those roofs down there. Look at that. cost to get in one of those condos. Bet a lot. I bet you've got to make reservations years ahead of time. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> We're gonna check this out. You can go up this lift and there's some nice areas where you can take a couple good pictures. Oh good, good, good. Um and then if you want it's called the landing. Uh -huh. There will be a green bus that will show up, like one of the bigger ones. Jump on that and take you right up into the village. Uh, and you can always ask one of the yeah. bus drivers to be like, hey, does this bus bring us to Elk Lot? And right, most right. of them will tell you yes. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. No problem, guys. You have a great day. All right, man. Here we go. Here we go. Finally found something to do. Yeah, we're at Vail. We're taking the... Keep an eye out for the tram the or the whatever. What is this thing? <laughs> this is Riverfront. Riverfront Village. That's where we're leaving from. I want to thank Weston for the use of their men's room. We really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so he says, go up here and get off and get on the green bus. Okay. I know I stayed in the Weston once. Sleep, stayed in that hotel. You yeah. Walk out the door and get on this thing and take you right up there. Absolutely. As far as it goes, I guess it is. Uh, oh, it just takes you across the street. <laughs> well, kind of an alpine look to it what I would imagine an Alpine look would be like. The pass for the lift is uh, $30 for one, $50 for the other. So we're not gonna go to the top for that, just to look off the top of the mountain. Unless we can think of something else. Maybe that's where we give lessons. Okay, this is where we're gonna have lunch, the Dusty Boot. Yeah, the Dusty Boot in uh, Vail, Colorado, up on the slopes here. That looks pretty good. Tell me if you want to stop. There's nowhere to stop, really. Sleds? Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. And even coming way up there. Yeah, some type of trail or something. So this must be the Nordic Center. I, I think that's what it is. Yeah. You know, when I first saw it, I thought it was like a... The walkway to somebody's house because it says something down there about a ranch. Oh, really man. Oh, boy. oh, I bet that's wet stuff. Oh, man. 
You start sliding oh. down. The <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Man. Look at that White House out there. What do you think that one cost? Where? See it out there? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, we checked out the gated community. Managed to get around security. Those were like multi-million dollar homes up there. I would love to be up here, you know, with the fireplace and <laughs> some wine when it's snowing and you don't have to go anywhere. Okay, we're going to check out this little park here. These boulders down here are just absolutely massive. They rolled off the top of that mountain, came down from up there. I see there's a massive boulder that rolled down. Another one back there. Yeah, look at the size of that boulder there. The thing is huge. It's the Eagle River. Have that rock clear over there. I bet it just rolled. Come bouncing down off of there. That's exactly what it did. It had enough momentum just to come all the way across the river. Those things stopped over there. There's another big one. There's no telling what those weigh. Look at this. Oh, this stuff's about a foot thick. It's pretty solid. Pretty cool here, pretty cool. This is where you just slide right into it. That incline there, I don't think I'll pass. Yeah, it's hollow under there. Pretty thick ice. This shortcut didn't work out too well. This morning I went for a drive, drove east on 70, went to Vail, checked it out, took a lift, went to lunch. You know, no big deal. Just uh, hung out a little bit and finally came back on the way back. We uh, went down by the Eagle River, hung out down there, did a little exploring, came back, and now I'm wasting my life on the internet. Eagle's at 6,500 feet. I live at 500 foot elevation. It's time I got off my lazy rear end and got some exercise. Stop making excuses. Just go do it. I'm going to do it right now. Right now. There's no way I'm going to put my face on a hotel room carpet doing push-ups. It's just not going to happen. As soon as I stretch my calves, I'm heading down to the treadmill. I'm not too worried. Two treadmills downstairs. Mike exercises. He might be down there. The chances of seeing two people here in this hotel on the treadmill, pretty remote. Look at that. No one. We're meeting for dinner at 6.30. We're gonna go to a local brewery, get something a little different. I haven't had what I would say was a great meal here in this town. Well, yeah, I had a really good cheeseburger, really good. But as far as dinner, we haven't had a great dinner. Huh. Nothing over that way at the theater. Here's the Italian place. We'll have to try that tomorrow. 